Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I just got a good little chuckle. I've got a really loyal subscriber, evidently, or at least a viewer, that seems like he watches all my videos, and I think he he's much more experienced in Corel than I am, and I think he watches my videos just to critique them. And I take him with a grain of salt, and I, I love him for sending me his tips and my corrections and some of the things I've done. If you go to a range and convert this to a curve, and then you go to convert or break curve apart, your E's fill in. Well, I was manipulating them and left clicking and, and fill them in the end with and just doing all different kinds of scenarios. And he suggested just select them both, go up to a range and combine them, and voila, it's done. So, Chris, I thank you for your tips. Look forward to many more. Hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.